owners of factories in southern China say the recent currency revaluation and wage increases after labor unrest are making business tougher. Cliff Sun, chairman of the Federation of Hong Kong Industries, an organization with 3,000 companies, mostly with factories in China, is worried that costs may rise too fast. Okay, the companies that manufacture and produce are lower end products with small technical content, thin margin. These are the companies that are highly vulnerable, not able to survive uh, when the uh, pay rise gets so, uh, you know, out of hand. A stronger you want makes exports more expensive. Sun expects at least 3,000 companies still staggering after the global financial crisis will not survive. It's not easy. Some of our members are diversifying. They're integrating their manufacturing facilities from, for example, a Shenzhen uh, manufacturing base, uh, shifting some of the uh, labor-intensive uh, production uh, uh, work you know, jobs uh, into uh, neighboring provinces like Jiangxi, Hunan, Sichuan. But there is a trade-off, says Standard Chartered Bank's regional economist Kelvin Lau. But the layout of many of these uh, manufacturing cities or, or, or towns is that a big f factory is usually surrounded by many of the uh, suppliers they work with. He says when factories move inland, where wages are cheaper, suppliers may not be able to follow. And the third way out uh, in, in face of rising costs is to actually relocate out of China. Countries such as Cambodia and Vietnam have been aggressively setting up infrastructure links and incentives to attract foreign manufacturers. Abe Junji runs a Japanese shoe factory outside Vietnam's Ho Chi Minh City. He says the future is good here because the government has made it easier for foreign investors to come to the country, granting them tax incentives. Vietnam has already established a base for low-end factories that provide jobs to mostly young, unskilled workers, half of the country's population. But it is still short of what China can offer manufacturers. There are also other considerations they have to take into account. For example, whether the logistics or the infrastructure support can be comparable to what they get in China. Manufacturing experts say countries like Vietnam will need to work hard to catch up to China's export infrastructure, which was established more than 20 years ago. Heather Baron for VOA News, Hong Kong.